They opened up the back gates, the back stretch of Laurel Park today after allegations of substandard housing there. Yeah, concerns over those housing conditions threatened the Stronics Group's bid to pour money into the facility and to move the Preakness from Pimlico. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager gives us a look behind the scenes. The guards open the gates, allowing us to see for ourselves how approximately 300 workers live surrounding the Laurel Park racetrack. This after a whistleblower showed pictures of deplorable conditions here, which Baltimore delegate Nick Mosby took public. Don O'Connor has spent more than two decades working with the horses and living in a 12 by 12 foot room. I was very upset about that and appalled. We were very misrepresented. Um, it, some of it was ludicrous, saying that people had to, um, residents had to use a horse trough as a sink, and they included a picture, and it was a male urinal. While some new housing exists on the grounds, many of the dilapidated units, which the owner's company pledged to address more than a decade ago, remain stuck in time. And a personal tour with Anne Arundel County Executive Stuart Pittman did little to change Mosby's mind. The bathrooms are atrocious, mold, uh, the showers are atrocious. So, you know, we just have to do better. You know, we're better than this as a state. You know, hundreds of millions of dollars have been given out over the past 16 years since this problem was originally talked about and seen. And, you know, we, gotta do, we have to do better than this. Mosby's calling on lawmakers to back off on proposed legislation, which would allow the Stronic Group to use lottery money designated for racetrack facilities to bond improvements here in Laurel at Pimlico's expense with the fate of the Preakness race lying in the balance. There's $90 million still forthcoming before that program ends. They're saying, just give us 60 of that so that we can use it now. Take the other 30, spend it on something good, spend it in Park Heights. With the Maryland Thoroughbred Horsemen's Association also coming to the owner's defense and how it treats its own. A lot of people felt that, that these things were taken out of context and they were used in a political tug of war. Mosby says conditions on the backstretch rise above the politics of keeping the Preakness in Baltimore. I wouldn't want my wife or my children or someone I love to ever have to be subjected uh, to these type of living conditions. At Laurel Park, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.